Hi class, today I'm going to show you guys how to put together silhouettes in Tinkercad and what the silhouette is, is a design that you can put on your counter or uh, you can put on your desk at home or somewhere. But anyways, I've seen students put together like sports emblems or they put together other types of designs that they like, they put together other types of cartoon characters, but it's basically this, uh, let me get towards the camera here. Uh, where you can cut out an image, you can make it a stand uh, that you can set on your desk at home. So let me get started. Uh, let me shrink down my camera here and show you where to go. The first thing you need to do is go into Classroom and in Google Classroom, that's where I have all the links available to you. So if you go into Google Classroom, you go to your class, the College and Career Resources class uh, or Readiness class, and then you scroll down all the way to where this tutorial is you will see a couple links about the online converter so here's the websites I use to convert the image to to a 3D figure in Tinkercad uh, so click on the online converter open that up in a new tab you're going to need that then the next thing you need to do is you are going to find an image now with the images, you probably want to start search out silhouette. Uh, so I used pinky and the brain, and you can do it in black and white if you want. Or you can type in uh, silhouette, and let me see if I can, I always spell this a little off. So silhouette. So S-I-L-H-O-U-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. So let's search that out. So that's what I used. I used this image right here. Um, so let me try another one. And instead of pinky in the brain, let me go Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo silhouette. So let me try this one right here. So I'm going to go to view image. Oops. And it may not come up. If not, you can right click on the image that's there and you go to save image as, that should be big enough. And then I'm gonna call mine Scooby, Scooby-Doo. And saving it as a PNG is fine. Just remember what type of file type it said it was saved as. Or you may not need to, but uh, go to image converter. So this is the website I just opened up. Go to image converter, click down on the list here. You're gonna convert this to an SVG, SVG. Uh, so S is in Sam, V is in Victor, G is in um, Google. All right. So click on Go, or don't click on Go; it'll go automatically. Choose File. Now that you just downloaded this, it should be in your Downloads file. So click on that. Click on Open, and that downloads the PNG, and it's going to convert it. So scroll down on this page. Scroll down until you see. The convert file button here so I have my image here convert file button and just click on that you don't have to worry about any of this right now and so that's converting the file it saved it into my downloads folder from there I am going to sign into Tinkercad sign in using social providers Google Plus and wait for it and then create new design. And after you create new design, then you drag in the box uh, that you're gonna cut the image out of. And I just drag this out and make kind of a platform for it, shrink it down. I shrink, shrink it down to about nine, so that's good. And then I'm going to make my base, so I'm gonna line this up uh, so where it's like that and then I'm going to drag it out to the edges after you drag it out to the edges then you have kind of your base I'm going to shrink that down a little bit so it's a little thinner probably about 10 so this is what it's going to stand up on and now we go to import and this is where we find our SVG file and the SVG file, mine shows up as kind of like a web page, so I'm going to click on that, click on open. And then watch the dimensions here. Uh, 100 by 100 is, a, is pretty much good. So if you can scale it down 
so where it's about 100 by 100 dimensions uh, that should be good or it might turn out still a little no nope, that's good so 100 by 100 is about like that and that's a solid image so I want to make that a hole and let's say I want Scooby to be a little bit bigger I just uh, hold down shift drag this out and if I want to center it let me group these two here my stand and my base here again holding shift group those then grab Scooby make sure he's cut all the way through and it doesn't seem like he is so I'm just going to drag this up and then use this arrow to move him down so that he cuts all the way through and that'll cut a hole all the way through your image there now if I hold down shift select the base and Scooby and then group those it'll cut Scooby-Doo out of this image uh, the things that you want to watch out for if you see just solid shapes in the middle here those are going to fall out when you print it so if you see solid shapes and you want those solid shapes uh, then you may need to ungroup your design again and then bring that up so that it's not cut all the way through your image but instead just makes an indentation inside the image so don't cut it all the way through the bottom so that it has those uh, parts that are going to fall out have something to stick to and that's it uh, pretty easy pretty simple design just go ahead and uh, make your own and enjoy I will see you guys in another video maybe